municipal election headquarters tonight. School districts in the Bayou parishes are working to get students back in the classroom, but they need money from the state and FEMA to start rolling in. Political reporter Shannon Heck sat in on today's hearings to see what challenges educators are facing. Superintendents from school districts in both southwest and southeast Louisiana shared how they're recovering from their respective storms. And a common story that came up today was that they're running out of finances. State Superintendent Cade Brumley estimates that there are still 70,000 kids still out of school a month after Hurricane Ida. Many schools in the southeast parishes are still working out how much it will cost to repair all their damaged facilities, but it will be in the hundreds of millions. Lafouche Parish is also trying to find a way to waive some of the required minutes for the hardest hit areas. If South Lafouche High School can't open its doors until October 20th, and I begin telling families that you're going to be in school until July to make up those instructional minutes after the year that they've had. I don't think that's going to be met well. Southeast schools left the meeting nervous after hearing from Calcasieu Parish and how they are still hurting for federal aid a year after Hurricane Laura. Legislators leaned into GOSEP for taking months to allocate already approved dollars to the parish for roof repairs and buses. The director says they have to review the expenses before giving the money over. When FEMA obligates that dollar, I'll cut these gentlemen a check. For school districts in southern Lafouche and Terrebonne parishes, they're still working out how they're going to get their students back in the classroom and how they're going to make up for those lost days. At the Capitol, for your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht.